everyone and welcome to a new edition of basic in adobe photoshop cc in today's lesson uh, we're going to talk about how to import a document and how you export your 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 file or your document so we we'll learn how to import and explain in which we I, I personally import file into my photoshop cc workspace is directly i'll just directly go to i'll directly go to the folder where the document is then i'll just move and send a copy of it into my workspace in photoshop so i'll go directly into the folder to the folder pick the file that in which i want to work with and drag it down make a copy of it into my photoshop cc so that's how i do it and very 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 important how we create a new document how we measure our document Photoshop has really really advanced in various ways and it has really helped in making um, the work very fast you know uh, um, stressless you know is is really cool it's really cool now if we want to uh, create a new project a new document we we'll move to file you click on file then you click on new click on file then you click on new right all right so right here we have various measurements various measurements different sizes different custom sizes now when you look at when you look beneath the documents there are things you should take note of very very important details you should take note of so here we have here we have 3600 by 2000 and is measured in pixels is measured in pixels then the ppi that is the depth of the document is 500 ppi 500 now right over here this is where the documents are created you the you create whatever you want okay here is where you name your document let's say you want to create a new document and let's name it uh, let's say school you know or like school uh oh -uh, where's my head yeah let's name it school so when we when we move beneath we have the width and the height the width and the height so the width and the height is measured in pixels the width and height is measured in pixels you have to take note of that is very very important is measured in pixels so we have different kind of measurements when you click we have pixels we have inches we have centimeters we have uh, millimeters we have points we have pickers we have various types of measurements so it depends on what you are working on what how you see best uh, in measuring your own document because I myself I mostly make use of pixels I'm cool with that so that's it now we have 
various orientations okay now we have the portrait and the landscape the portrait and the landscape you get to notice some changes when I click now is on landscape you see that's why it has a, a little bit of a uh, it has a bluish uh, color while the portrait has a grayish color so you see the changes just when you look at the width and the height when I click on portrait you notice some changes between the width and the height it interchanges the the width becomes 2000 why the height uh, uh, becomes uh, 3600 so that means is now on portrait uh, 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 portrait size so now we are working with landscape so when we click it changes as well so now in Photoshop we have different at bonds Photoshop has really really advanced like I earlier said we have various art boards so when you click on uh, when you activate act boards then on your uh, on your interface it appears on an art board uh, section or kind of workspace is quite different from creating an actual um, single document now when you move down we have the resolution now what the resolution does is this it it's responsible when it comes to clarity when it comes to sharpness now in our previous class we said Photoshop Adobe Photoshop CC is a pixel based uh, uh, graphic uh, uh, designer so if you are setting up your resolution the higher your resolution the more clearer the more uh, sharper your 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 uh, project would look now beneath that we have color mode now mind you close the higher the resolution the sharper the more clearer your document would look now closer to that is we have pixels slash inches pixels slash centimeters meaning that resolution is measured in both pixels slash uh, inches so you just have to choose your value then beneath that we have color mode when you click we have various types of color mode as you all know if you don't really know about it you have to make your own research go online learn more about I, um, about color codes now color codes here we have the bitmap we have the grayscale we have the RGB color we have the CNYK color we have the lab color so now it depends on what you are working uh, your 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 specifications on your project now if you want to probably design a project for print you want to print you know kind of uh, billboards and all that then probably I would advise and it's very good and that's what it's meant for to work with CMYK that is if you're if you want to print the project you work with CMYK now if it's for just web uh, websites publishments and all that online uh, then you go with RGB so that's it so now we are working with RGB now we have the 8 bit 16 bit and 32 bit of so we'll be working with the 8 bit of it then beneath we have the background contents now 
the background content if we are we are creating a new document now what would we probably want our background color to uh, the background color should be um, depends on what you're working on okay you could choose um, um, white you could choose black you could choose um when you click on the background color then you have uh, a chance of uh, choosing your own color so you choose whatever color you want just go for it now let's pick up this so it changes to custom so beneath we have advanced advanced uh, options so i wouldn't advise us to uh, to go down this road but it depends it still depends on what you're working um, for okay the kind of document you go down here you choose now if you're a photographer you have camera probably adobe has made some available here so you choose the kind of camera you're making use of it will be easier for quick editing and clarity we have the ira okay yeah so whatever just look we have different kinds of models so you just choose well i'm not gonna touch that i'm not gonna touch that yeah uh have square pixel okay we are okay with square pixel that's cool so that's it so when you're done then you just have to click on create so when you cl click on create voila here is our work space so uh there are things that you should know you're new to the system now looking at this area the grayish area here is not responsible for your project whatever you do here is out of the line whatever you do around the grayish uh, uh, area is out of the line so if you want to walk you walk inside the 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 workspace the one we created okay the orange color just walk inside it so now this is how we create a new project so whenever you want to create a new project this is how we create a new project now let's move further to how we export how we export how we export now before that we'll have to create a little design on this we'll have to create a little design then we export uh, um, uh, we there are some tools now here is the layer panel here is where all the works are being arranged so whatever you're doing in photoshop you have to take note of this area the layers panel take note of the layers panel now looking at the 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 our background here you notice a a little lock here whenever you import a project you see a little the lock here the lock key now whenever you want to get rid of the lock key whenever you want to get rid of the lock key you just have to uh, double tap on it you just have to tap on it when you double tap on it uh, uh, you, you like left click twice 
a new layer appears here then you name it whatever you want let's say wa uh, whenever you're working on a new um, project the first thing to set is your background your background um, color so you set up your background color then beneath you see color now probably we could set color here you see you how uh, you, you see shortly what it done we need to see mode leave it at you leave it at normal opacity 100 that's cool then you click on okay now here is our background the when you look close you see that the lock is no more here we have gotten rid of it now we want to work on this so that we'll quickly learn how we uh, set our export so since the name of our project is school we just have to go to the the text tool here is the text tool click on it okay I click on it then probably we have you choose color your size your size click and say cool no as a designer you have to make something cool like school something cool like school so don't worry we're gonna learn all this in a short while everything everything so you got nothing to be worried about so yeah this let's uh let's add a little beauty on it so it's gonna look cool yeah so we are done with our project we are done with our project we want to export so how do we export our project now uh yeah, sorry about that so let's use the when you want to export your project you click on file you go to export we have quick exports as png we have export as we have export preferences we have save for web legacy so what we'll be making use of for our class as professionals that we are is save for web uh, uh, legacy so when you click on save for web legacy which I just showed you the shortcut for it so it appears in a new wizard in a new uh, in a new monitor okay so it appears then we probably when you want to see the work you just use the shortcut Z that's for the zoom you hold the alt for the minor then this is our project so the reason i like this uh this method is it gives you a preview of how your documents 
would uh, appear the output of it it gives you a preview so if you probably have any changes to make you can click on cancel then make your corrections then re-export this we uh we see you could uh, change the the format of your document we are going with jpeg so here we have some settings the quality 90 is okay everything now you shouldn't go around changing what has already been you just have to leave it the way it is if you don't know anything about it just let go of it okay you don't have to just be clicking 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 if you do so uh, your, your project will is gonna turn out poor so now another thing I like about sorry for that now another thing I like about this something else I like about something else I like about using this method is now you can probably change the figure uh, the size of your project okay let's say if you are probably initially when we're creating um, a new project we we we, we made some errors in um, um, in measuring the size so here you can change the size of it you can change the size of it, the size of it whichever way you want then look, looking at looking closer to it you see a chain it means the chain is holding both the width and the height so whatever you change and the width has a simultaneous change and the height okay when you change anything here okay let's see if we make it 200 it has a simultaneous change in the height now when we click on the chain now whatever we change here has no effect say has no effect on the height so that's why that's the reason we have this that's the reason we have the chain here so quality will leave it as it is then um, um, after which then you just click on save then you just have to choose a place where you want your document to be saved so click on save yeah it's done so you go to your the place the document okay okay so you click then here we have our output so these are projects right here so sorry for that uh -oh. okay so these are project so whatever you you want to create you have the freedom to create whatever you want to do you have the freedom to do it here is a creative class where you have to set your your mind right to get what you want okay creativity is an inside out from inside you create so whatever you want to create here is a very good platform for you to create so we have learned about how to import and we have also covered 
and learned about how to export so thank you very much and uh, subscribe to my channel uh, uh, like and comment on the post below if there's any question you're free to ask feel free uh, 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 to communicate with me and uh, see you in our next edition thank you very much forget to like comment on my pictures my videos my designs you're free to comment like or hate you know whatever just comment on my pictures and videos thank you very much i really appreciate you no not you